Tshikana community say nothing has changed since 2012. A survivor of the massacre tells Newsroom Africa about that fateful day when his friends and colleagues were gunned down by police. He says no compensation has been given to the survivors. Our reporter, Zintle Kanyane, has more. An injury that changed his life forever. Lungisile Madwanzi survived the Marikana massacre, but now lives with a bullet lodged in his head. The memories of that fateful day are still fresh. then that's a bunch of our paramedic for Bar Africa Bans Gumisa Bans Pifumla, let away over the move. Babesin, Fabosin, Bafaka is tribe and Fabos trans, but Basagala in Nazi in Tango, Bansaligal, Banlasha with helicopter, Bansaka spelled. He says the shot that struck his head came from a helicopter. Eight years later, he's still undergoing physiotherapy to help him walk. He believes that his survival is a mystery. He says he hasn't received any compensation for his injuries. A local non-profit organization working in the community says that things have not changed in the area since the massacre. As the country commemorates the lives of 34 miners who were brutally gunned down by police eight years ago, locals say they are still waiting for government's promises to compensate the survivors. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zintle Kanyane in Maragana.